at some point in my life, I decided it was going to be a good idea to uh, have a child. I was blissfully happy, you know, when I, I first got to meet her, like it was like no other. A month and 26 days after she was born was when I got shot. I was just your, your basic kid growing up, you know, having a, a happy life. My parents divorced when I was young, which was the best option. Me and my husband had decided to go hunting. We told everyone, you know, hey, don't touch the gun. It's loaded. Like, you know, I haven't had time to unload it. Everybody said, okay. His brother comes in and picks up the gun, points it at me and says, I'm going to shoot you. So I grabbed the end of the barrel and I looked up at him and like I could just see it. Like, he was dead serious. And about the time that I pulled it down, he pulled the trigger. I was in and out, you know, my, my body was in shock. Right before they took me to the operating room. And you know, I remember asking the doctor, like, am I gonna be okay? And he said, We're gonna do everything we can. I mean, I knew in the back of my mind that it it wasn't going to be possible to keep it. So I woke up at 17 years old and my leg was gone. That was, uh, that was extremely hard for me to deal with. I thought my life was over. I mean, when you first get the prosthetic and you start walking, like it's, it's basically like you're a kid again and you got to learn to walk again. I hated it. Absolutely hated it. I tried to wear baggy pants. Like, I wouldn't wear jeans anywhere, any tight jeans. I'd wear sweatpants. At some point, I just accepted it. I'm like, you know what? My life is not over. It's different than what I envisioned, but it's not over. Like, it's going to be hard. It's going to be a hard, hard road. But I'm, I'm not going to give up. I work a very fast-paced restaurant, like, you've got to be fast. Like, it may just be Dunkin' Donuts, but people want their coffee and donuts. So, like, you you got to be quick about it. Even with a prosthetic, I run circles around people. I'm not stopping just because I have a prosthetic, like, no. I, I accepted everything that happened to me. I've asked myself a million times, why, why me, why me? I believe that everything happens for a reason. My reason is to show my kids that you can do it. My mom tells me, you're, you're given this life because you're strong enough to live it. She says that, you know, he'll never put anything on you that you can't handle. And I'm so at this point, I'm Iron Man, okay? I'm Iron Man. been through a lot in my life and I have you know a lot of knowledge about living life and especially living a hard life I want people to understand that just because you have a prosthetic doesn't mean that you can't live life you know, life is not over no matter what you go through you gotta hang tight and then you gotta fight and don't give up just because you know you're sitting there and you're crying and you're trying to figure out what to do Take a step back, lay it all out, and see what you can do to fix one problem at a time.